The following steps must be taken before the engine can be started. Sit on the seat. Activate the parking brake. Disengage the mower blades and move the steering controls outward to the locked neutral position. Move the throttle to the full position. If the engine is cold, the choke control should be pulled up or pushed forward on the throttle, depending on the model. Turn the ignition key to the start position. When the engine starts, immediately release the ignition key. Slowly depress the choke knob back down or move the throttle lever away from the choke. Allow the engine to run at a moderate speed or half throttle for three to five minutes before loading it too heavily. Avoid idling the engine for long periods as there is risk of fouling the spark plugs. Always use full throttle when mowing. This provides the best mower performance and battery charging. To operate, first adjust the throttle control to the desired engine speed. Release the park brake and then bring the steering levers in from the neutral locked position. The direction and speed of the mower's movements are affected by the movement of the control levers on each side of the mower. The left control lever controls the left wheel. The right control lever controls the right wheel. Slowly move both control levers forward slightly. This will allow the mower to start moving forward in a straight line. Slightly pull the control levers back to the neutral position and the mower should stop moving. Pull back slightly on the control levers, allowing the mower to move backwards. Then allow the control levers to move forward to the neutral position and the mower should stop moving. While moving in a forward direction, pull the right lever back towards the neutral position while maintaining the position of the left lever. This will slow the rotation of the right wheel and cause the machine to turn to the right. The opposite lever movement turns the machine to the left. First, pull both control levers back until the mower stops or slows dramatically. Then, by alternating one lever slightly to the forward position and the other slightly to the reverse position, the operator will complete a zero turn. Just move the control levers back to neutral after completing the turn. To minimize turf damage, zero turning should be executed at a low speed and with minimal steering lever movement. If your mower isn't tracking straight, rotating the track knob allows fine tuning adjustments so the machine tracks straight with the steering control levers in the full forward position. First, check the air pressure in all four tires. To adjust, place mower on a flat concrete or blacktop surface and rotate the left tracking knob counterclockwise to increase the speed on the left wheel. Rotate clockwise to decrease the speed. The seat is adjustable for different operators. When making adjustments, pull up on the lever under the right side of the seat. After that, the seat can be moved backward or forward. Note, the mower is equipped with an operator presence system. When the engine is running, any attempt by the operator to leave the seat without first disengaging the blades, placing the control levers in the locking neutral position, and setting the park brake will shut off the engine. While the engine is running, to begin operation, adjust the throttle control, engage the blade switch, set the deck height, release the parking brake, and move the steering levers inward. If the mower has been worked hard, disengage the mower deck and allow the engine to idle a minute in order to obtain normal operating temperature before stopping it. Avoid idling the engine for longer periods, as there is a risk of the spark plugs fouling. Disengage the mower deck by depressing the blade switch. Move the steering controls outward. When the machine is standing still, activate the parking brake by pushing the lever release button and pulling the lever upward. Raise the mower deck by pressing the release button on the lever and pulling fully backward to the transport position. Move the throttle to the minimum position. Turn the ignition key to the stop position. Always remove the key when leaving the mower to prevent unauthorized use. 
bypass linkages allow the operator to unlock the transmissions. This allows you to push or pull the unit more freely. The levers are located on each side of the rear of the unit, below the rear engine plate. To engage, first be sure to shut off the engine. Raise the deck into the highest cutting position and disengage the brake. Pull the bypass linkages up and out of the keyhole slots. Release the levers with the head outside the frame and held in the bypass position. To re-engage the drive, reverse this procedure. Caution must be observed as they are in very close proximity of the muffler. Be sure to release the linkages before operating.